Cambridge English. First certificate in English. Listening. Sample test. I am going to give you the instructions for this test. I shall introduce each part of the test and give you time to look at the questions. At the start of each piece, you will hear this sound. You will hear each piece twice. Remember, while you are listening, write your answers on the question paper. You will have five minutes at the end of the test to copy your answers onto the separate answer sheet. There will now be a pause. Please ask any questions now, because you must not speak during the test. Now open your question paper and look at part one. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer, A, B or C. Question one. You hear a message on a telephone answering machine. Oh, hi, it's me, John. Sorry to miss you, you must have already left for work. Look, I wondered if you wanted to come away for the weekend. There'll be about ten of us, including someone called Sam Brent, who says he was at college with you, and he remembers that you were brilliant at rock and roll. Uh, they've decided it'll be on October the 9th, Friday night till Sunday. Anyway, I I'll put the details in the post. I, I know you're busy at the moment, so don't feel you have to come, but just let me know one way or the other when you can. Talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, hi, it's me, John. Sorry to miss you, you must have already left for work. Look, I wondered if you wanted to come away for the weekend. There'll be about ten of us, including someone called Sam Brent, who says he was at college with you, and he remembers that you were brilliant at rock and roll. Uh, they've decided it'll be on October the 9th, Friday night till Sunday. Anyway, I I'll put the details in the post. I know you're busy at the moment, so don't feel you have to come, but just let me know one way or the other when you can. Talk to you soon. Bye. Question 2. You hear two people talking about a water sports centre. So, how did you like the new sports centre? <laughs> well, there's a wide choice of things to do. It's just that their advertisement said something to suit all the family. Uh -huh. I wish they'd had water games for the under fives. There was nothing really suitable for them. But you can learn to windsurf or sail and you have the freedom to go anywhere in the lake. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Uh, not really. Nobody's allowed in the water without a life jacket and a rescue boat is on hand all the time. Mm, sounds great. <laughs> it was. So, how did you like the new sports centre? <laughs> well, there's a wide choice of things to do. It's just that their advertisement said something to suit all the family. Uh -huh. I wish they'd had water games for the under fives. There was nothing really suitable for them. But you can learn to windsurf or sail and you have the freedom to go anywhere in the lake. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Uh, not really. Nobody's allowed in the water without a life jacket and a rescue boat is on hand all the time. Mm, sounds great. <laughs> it was. Question three. You hear a professional tennis player talking about her career. Are you ever annoyed by interviewers? Well, I'm often asked about the financial side of things. I don't mind, but I can honestly say for many tournaments, I don't even know what the prize money is. I just focus on playing to my full potential. They must find that answer disappointing. No, the ones I have a problem with are those who assume it's all about partying and gossip. I wish they'd ask about the real lifestyle, practising day in, day out, and getting from tournament to tournament. I probably do around a hundred long-haul flights a year. It sounds exciting, but it wipes you out and actually ruins your social life. Are you ever annoyed by interviewers? Well, I'm often asked about the financial side of things. I don't mind, but I can honestly say for many tournaments, I don't even know what the prize money is. I just focus on playing to my full potential. They must find that answer disappointing. No, the ones I have a problem with are those who assume it's all about partying and gossip. I wish they'd ask about the real lifestyle, practising day in, day out, and getting from tournament to tournament. 
I probably do around a hundred long-haul flights a year. It sounds exciting, but it wipes you out and actually ruins your social life. Question four. You hear a poet talking about his work. I've been slowly writing more and more poems for kids over the last few years. Talking to young people in schools, which I've been doing for some time now, reinforces my belief that they need and want the same range of subjects that older people do. Relationships, work, family, etc. Often it's something that only emerges after my poems are finished, but quite a few of them in my new collection were first thought of as poems for adults, until I realised that they might work just as well or better for kids. But I hope it's a book that adults will enjoy too. I've been slowly writing more and more poems for kids over the last few years. Talking to young people in schools, which I've been doing for some time now, reinforces my belief that they need and want the same range of subjects that older people do. Relationships, work, family, etc. Often it's something that only emerges after my poems are finished, but quite a few of them in my new collection were first thought of as poems for adults, until I realised that they might work just as well or better for kids. But I hope it's a book that adults will enjoy too. Question five. You hear two people talking about a program they saw on TV. Did you watch that program about the Gobi Desert last night? I thought it'd be really interesting because it's a part of the world I know very little about. The photography was brilliant, wasn't it? Yes. You could really feel how harsh the life was there. Overwhelmingly grey, I thought. It'd be hard to feel cheerful living in that landscape. It was a bit short on facts, though, wasn't it? I don't think it was that kind of program. They just wanted you to be amazed at the fantastic landscape. I guess that's why there wasn't much commentary. You're right. I hadn't thought of that. Did you watch that program about the Gobi Desert last night? I thought it'd be really interesting because it's a part of the world I know very little about. The photography was brilliant, wasn't it? Yes. You could really feel how harsh the life was there. Overwhelmingly grey, I thought. It'd be hard to feel cheerful living in that landscape. It was a bit short on facts, though, wasn't it? I don't think it was that kind of program. They just wanted you to be amazed at the fantastic landscape. I guess that's why there wasn't much commentary. You're right. I hadn't thought of that. Question six. You hear two people talking about an ice hockey game they've just seen. So, your first live ice hockey game. Glad you came. Well, I wouldn't have missed it for the world, but it was so cold. I had no idea that it would be like that. I wish I brought my thicker coat. <laughs> oh, that's normal. At least it was a really exciting game. Our team was doing much better than usual. Well, perhaps that accounts for the noise. I knew it would be loud, but it was incredible. What do you expect? We have to support them. Well, I can say I've done it. Just don't expect to see me here next week. So, your first live ice hockey game. Glad you came. Well, I wouldn't have missed it for the world, but it was so cold. I had no idea that it would be like that. I wish I brought my thicker coat. <laughs> oh, that's normal. At least it was a really exciting game. Our team was doing much better than usual. Well, perhaps that accounts for the noise. I knew it would be loud, but it was incredible. <laughs> what do you expect? We have to support them. Well, I can say I've done it. Just don't expect to see me here next week. Question seven. You overhear two friends talking about a restaurant. I can see why people really rate the place. Yeah, they really know how to bring out the flavours in the different dishes. They also put a lot of thought into combining unusual ingredients. And as a restaurant, it's not too stuffy and formal. It's got a really lively feel about it. Perhaps a little too lively. It was quite hard to hear each other above the din. I'm not sure it'd be the place to come for a romantic dinner. Great food, though, and so visually appealing on the plate. They've made a lot of effort with that. It really adds to the experience, doesn't it? 
I can see why people really rate the place. Yeah, they really know how to bring out the flavours in the different dishes. They also put a lot of thought into combining unusual ingredients. And as a restaurant, it's not too stuffy and formal. It's got a really lively feel about it. Perhaps a little too lively. It was quite hard to hear each other above the din. I'm not sure it'd be the place to come for a romantic dinner. Great food, though, and so visually appealing on the plate. They've made a lot of effort with that. It really adds to the experience, doesn't it? Question 8. You hear a man talking on the radio. As a result of heavy snow, there has been major disruption to rail services this morning. A number of breakdowns have been reported in the west, with people stranded on some trains. In this region, blizzard conditions are making driving conditions hazardous. A severely restricted train service will be operating within the next few hours into the capital and delays are expected on all lines in the south of the country. In the north, there is some snow, but services have been able to continue with only a few cancellations reported. As a result of heavy snow, there has been major disruption to rail services this morning. A number of breakdowns have been reported in the west, with people stranded on some trains. In this region, blizzard conditions are making driving conditions hazardous. A severely restricted train service will be operating within the next few hours into the capital, and delays are expected on all lines in the south of the country. In the north, there is some snow, but services have been able to continue, with only a few cancellations reported. That is the end of part one. Now turn...